the fact that Kenya is one united, indivisible state. In the same breath, Honorable Speaker, the Constitution establishes the structures of counties as units of sharing resources. However, the Deputy President has established an unlawful and constitutional structure of the country as a structure of sharing national resources, where we have now a new structure of shareholders and non-shareholders. Honorable Speaker, that is sacrilege. We cannot establish another structure of resource allocation apart from the one provided in the Constitution. But now we have a new structure where those who are shareholders in the country get more resources and those that are not shareholders don't get resources. For that new structure that he's trying to establish in this country, the Deputy President Rigathi Kajagwa must go. Honorable Speaker, There was a time in this country, Honorable Speaker, if you allow me to say this, and I will ask you to add me a few minutes more to say this, that there was a time in this country when the Deputy Chief Justice, the Honorable Nancy Baraza, was bundled out of office because of impropriety, because of an issue that Kenyans thought was not proper. Nancy Baraza, just pinching the nose of someone. And she was bundled out of office, the high office of the Deputy Chief Justice of this country. That's what happened, Honorable Speaker. Just pinching a nose. And she was bundled out of office. But here we have a Deputy President who has committed sacrilege trying to balkanize this country. A Deputy President who has called people names. A Deputy President who has called a member of Parliament a prostitute. A deputy president who has amassed wealth that cannot be accounted for. For that honorable speaker, just like Nancy Baraza was bundled out of office, the deputy president must also be bundled out of office because of that impropriety. Honorable speaker, we saw the, the mover has ably demonstrated to us how he took on a judge. But Honorable Speaker, it is not just a judge, it is a female judge, Honorable Speaker. Probably he attacked this judge because she was a woman, a lady judge. A lady. A lady judge. Where is the, the place of women judges or women in this country? If we have a deputy president who has no respect for other female or lady leaders in this country, Honorable Speaker, for the abuse on a, on a woman judge, a lady judge, the deputy president must go. Yeah. Honorable Speaker, I know my time is running out, but I want to say this in closing. Honorable Speaker, I want to say this. When you ever face an impeachment motion, Honorable Speaker, you'd rather have a rich dead brother who you can shield yourself with. We saw what uh, the deputy president tried to do yesterday. But I want to tell him that Kenyans are clever and they read through what he wanted to do yesterday. And they will not buy it. It does not sell. It won't be bought. We know who he is. We know. Give him one minute. Finish up. Finish up. He's my friend. Yes, Honorable Speaker. We know what he tried to do yesterday, but we can't buy it, Honorable Speaker. And therefore, Grigathi Gashagwa must stand impeached at the end of the day.